to welcome Jose Bergeron into our studio. She is a furniture finishing teacher at Rosemount Technology Center, has been there teaching for 10 years. Mm -hmm. That must be fun. It's awesome to be with students. And yeah. They learn and they, they grow. Yeah. yeah. They must be, like, I, I never, I don't really know much about furniture, fin furniture finishing. And when they come into the school and, you know, like the program furniture finishing, I would have thought it was something totally different. I would have thought it was like, you know, dressers and things like that. But this is really high end stuff. Explain what yeah. furniture finishing is. Oh, it's, uh, it's wide, but uh, mostly we play with colors and we play with varnish, lacquer, we polish, we sand. Uh, it can be, you can work on antiques, and but you can also work on modern uh, furniture, so it's really uh, yeah. wide. Yeah. Is it hard to learn? No. no. In nine months, you, you become a furniture finisher. Nine months is the nine length months, of the program? Yes. Okay, yes. so where do you start in the program? What's the first thing you learn? The first thing you learn is you learn about the trade. What is a furniture finisher? You learn about health and safety, about colors, how to mix colors, and yeah, that's where you start. And then it's mo mostly hands-on okay. in the shop. All right, so uh, who is well suited to be a furniture finisher? I'm guessing it's someone who, is it hard work? I was gonna say someone who likes to work hard. Well, it's, it, you work with your hands, okay. and you work standing up, and you have a, to have a sense of detail. Okay, yeah. uh, like, to make good presentation and because uh, we are at the end of the line the finisher so it's after that it's the client who gets the piece so okay. it has to so be you're the last step yeah. yeah yeah so what do you need to become like to go into rosemount technology and center and say i'd like to enroll in furniture yeah. finishing do you need high school do you need you just need a secondary four okay or uh, if you come from abroad you there's a general uh, development test that you take mm -hmm. if you don't have secondary four that's easy like that and it's uh, free tuition it's public education okay uh, yeah it's uh, so what do we have here and there's lots of demand lots of work yeah yeah uh, one of the company they want all our stagiaires actually they want to they yeah oh so. that sounds promising <laughs> so they can pick the best yeah, 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 <laughs> but yeah yeah. yeah 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 they must be very picky about who yeah, they choose yeah 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 uh, because you don't want to waste a lot of the expensive stuff. Exactly. You want to work with gold and like, like yeah. super expensive stuff. In some, uh, in, in a certain industry, we work with very luxurious uh, material. Mm -hmm. yeah, what is yeah. this? This is actually an example of uh, marble painted on wood. Oh, for, yeah? For example, if this tabletop is broken, here we, we learn how to make a faux fini. This is not marble, it's painted. And this is the real marble. Oh. So it's faux fini, but uh, oh, wow. we learn how to mix the colors to make it look like the real wow. thing. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. That looks, so wow, like it would be very tricky to do. Um, and this, this is like, this is like for in the inside of private well, jets and boats and Yeah, things. what what does uh, furniture finishing and an airplane have in common? This piece here, this is a part of a, a door, a cabinet door in a, that's go, that go in a private airplane. Mm -hmm. So it's the kind of work we do, a high gloss polish like that. Yeah, yeah. it weighs nothing because it, I guess for weight in the plane. Yeah, you know. What you, kind of wood is this? this is it's not wood, it's a composite material, it's fiberglass and with a very thin coat of a, uh, a veneer that's coated with uh, lacquer. Very nice. So, yeah. you want me to do something? Yeah, you wanna. I want to put you to work. You what if I put fail? I don't get in the program. Ah, well, you have some gloves in your pocket. Oh, pop. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. The best way to uh, to know is to try it. Yeah. <laughs> I hope the gloves are going to be big Can enough. Can you tell right away if I'm if I'm well yeah, suited we'll to see. be in, yeah, yeah. in the program? Yeah. See, first thing is to put on the glove. If okay. you succeed, that is <laughs> is good. Okay. So you like the walnut brown? Sure, walnut yeah, brown sounds chocolate great. brown. So what we're going to do is just apply a stain on this piece of wood. Mm -hmm. uh, just do the same thing. Well, I feel like a crime detective. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> so go for it. Okay. Take a little rag, yeah. soak it in the stain, mm -hmm. and you apply it liberately on the wood by, with circular motion. Okay. Yeah. And then when it's everywhere mm -hmm. you wipe it off this is a wiping stain we're doing and it's going to reveal the beauty oh, that really looks of nice. the wood can i just keep it like this uh <laughs> well you're painting right now what we want to do no, is just, it looks really stain. nice okay, but so you wipe it way. with the grain okay well with the grain yeah like this okay, so how do you know which way the grain's going it's the vertical lines yeah yeah I know, the, but in the, the same up direction or down, it doesn't matter doesn't matter oh, okay yeah press hard and Wow. 
Very nice. Yeah. So you just uh, look at that. And uh, atten attention to detail, of course, you need to do it everywhere. Okay. The edges too? <laughs> the edges too, the end grain, the edges and... Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so it's fun, it's for the fun. Program? Yes, I think you're doing a good <laughs> job. I am not. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, it comes with this? practice, you know? What kind of wood is this? This is poplar. It's the, that kind of tree that you know, in the summer, it makes yeah. a fuzz in that cotton wood. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So it's that kind of wood. Uh, usually, it's, it's a good wood for painting and, and staining. Because uh, okay. we don't leave it natural because it has a greenish tint to it. Okay, so, so uh, uh, if you were going to mark yours, what would you give it on 10? If you give mine? it a score. Oh, I'd say it's a, oh, no, it's, I, I should stain the other side, but that would be an 8. 8 on 10? And you're, uh, I, I, I would give you an 8, too, even. Really? Oh, yeah, it's I think beautiful. yours is nicer than mine. José well, Bergeron yeah. is a teacher <laughs> at Rosemount Technology Center. Furniture Finishing is the program. If you'd like to check it out, go to RTC's website or ch give them a call on the phone and ask about uh, this because there's a lot of demand and it is, uh, uh, I'm sure, a lucrative job. It's fun. Yeah, fun, too, yeah. Plus, you maybe get to fly on a private jet. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, yeah.